Hello, welcome to Books of the Month. I'm your host, Dr. Lag Carnes. We are so excited that you could join us. We have a very special guest with us today, Atlet Mugestein. He's going to be sharing with us a very powerful and insightful book that he's written, The Red Man, The Lies of the Red Man Who Claims to Be Something Else. Atlet, how are you today, man? I am perfect and perfect. How are you? I'm doing well, doing well. Thank you for asking. Listen, introduce yourself to our audience and tell us a little bit about this powerful book that you have. Well, I will do my best to do that. Uh, well, again, uh, my name is Adley and uh, I am um, about 30 some years old. I was born in Haiti um, in the, you know, over the uh, Caribbean and came to the United States when I was about uh, 19 years old. Um, you know, been going to school here and live here since then. I am a um, author, writer, and also a business person. Uh, I own a business um, as well as uh, a computer, um, you know, scientist. Okay, awesome. Now, listen, you've written this powerful book. Now, in the book, you say there, are you asked a question, are you aware there is so much you do not know about in this world? Then you say, Many of us are living in a bubble built by a group of people, the Gentiles, and you say something here that's very important. The Gentiles spreading secrets and spreading lies. Unpack that for us, man, the Gentiles and the lies that they've been spreading. Talk to us about that. All right. So um, when I talk about the Gentile, many times we have this conception that um, the, the other people are the Gentiles and like uh, the people you see in Israel today, they are the, what we call the Jews or the Jewish. But in reality, uh, the Bible itself, if we would uh, quote the Bible, which is the, the collection of book that was given to the Gentile itself, it tells you the color, the people where they would be, where, where they would be found that are considered the children of Israel. But now, if we would go back to the time of the beginning, starting in Genesis, we have um, a creation story where uh, God or Elohim said, let us make men in our image. And it tells you clearly he made men. And then later on, he created a woman with that man that he created. But you would see there's, an, there's a counter um, in that where the two people produce or procreate a twin. And the twin, one killed the other, and the Mosai put what we call a mark on the one that killed the other and said, lest anyone find him and kill him. And then it tells you in Genesis uh, that that other one went into the land of Nod. Nod and then with his wife and they bear a child and they call him Enoch, right? So, and you have the other two people that were first, which is the um, Eve and, I mean, I would say Adam and Eve. Then they will procreate again. They produce another son called Seth, right? All right, so earth started to populate and the, the population of earth has two different lineage. One lineage where you have Seth and an, a, another lineage where you have Ken with Enoch in his side, and you have another Enoch in Seth's side. Then you have Noah. Remember falling angel according to Genesis chapter six, coming from the sky, they look at the children of men, the daughters of men. And then they saw they were beautiful and they came down and they procreate with those daughters. Then those daughters of men now end up producing kids. And those kids, according to the Bible, they were becoming giant. And those giant, according to the book of Enoch and Jasher, they were called Nephilim. They were giant Nephilim. And then they would procreate among themselves. They create what we call the Nephil. And those Nephil, we procreate to what we call the Eljo or the Elioid. And those Elioid is what you would call today the Neanderthal, which science tells you are the you know, lineage of the European. Okay, so now earth started to be evil where those, the, the descendant of those falling angels, they go into 
um, eating men's and then procreate with beasts and stuff like that. So the Mosai, Elohim, they come down again and now they order to, to destroy earth with everybody, right? So now Noah was giving a chance to repopulate earth. So the job of Adam and Eve was now giving to Noah, right? So Noah now go down with his three sons and their wife over into the land um, after the flood, then they, 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 they reached the shore. And then now those people decided or were giving the job to repopulate the earth. Okay, you have a son of him called Canaan. Canaan, with his disobedient, was already cursed by Noah. All right, so Canaan went into the land of Shem. Then you will see when Israel came back from Egypt, they were going into the land, um, the land of Canaan to take it back because this is their father's descended land, which is the land of Shem, okay? But it was taken by Canaan. Then now what happened is when they were going in for the reason that for those who believe maybe the, um, the giant were already destroyed during the flood or the descendant of Cain destroyed during the flood, that, that, that never, never happened. So what happened? When the Israelites were going into the land of Canaan to take it, there is encounter where they met giant, which is the same Nephilim. And those Nephilim, they had already procreated. And those, those procreation did not stay in Canaan. They migrated into the ice where you have the Neanderthal found. So according to science today, we know for sure the European, the Indian, or the, the, the Asians are, as well, they have the descendant, I mean, the blood of the Neanderthal on them. According to a science, a scientific, um, you know, research that was happening, they, they tell you clearly, these people are descended from the Neanderthal. So those people are the direct line to the Gentile mixed with what we call the Japhetite. Because Japheth, as the Bible was explaining how God was, I mean, how Noah was explaining um, the, the, the division of, of, of the earth, it tells you the boundary of the Gentiles started with Japheth. Japhetite, they are Gentile. So the children of Ham and the children of Shem, they enter mixing. But that's one thing people need to know that is at the very beginning, when God created the man, the man that they created was the black man. And there were three sons. The three sons were all three blacks. The division where you have the pale skin started with the Neanderthal and the migration of a group of albino from Africa, which if you look into the book where I talk about like in Africa today, you still have the African belief if you were born with uh, albinisms, you were cursed. Or like Haiti, where I come from, a person with albinism would believe they have superpower. And the superpower we believe they have, you see a lot of time those people are more spiritual when it comes to spirituality, like the base spirituality, like evil kind of spirituality. They are very good at that because they have a sense of de negative spirituality. Those people migrate into Europe and meet with the Neanderthal and we produce. And that's where you have the European race started. Okay, okay. Now you mentioned something here. You said the book also covers many inventions of the normal man, the so-called black man, and it explains how the red man is destroying the planet and how he only cares about making money. Speak to us about the inventions and, and, and then tell us a little bit about that statement. Okay, so basically I will start basically where me as a professional computer uh, scientist, I do uh, programming, software development, and I've done a lot of research in this section. Okay, so we have many men, many black men, starting from the time of Egypt that have been invented things. For example, mathematics that was invented by the Egyptian. But today you will have those European telling you that, okay, well, Egypt was not an African um, nation, but that's not true. If you go all the way to um, Amasis II, 
that's the time when Egypt become Egypt. But at, at the beginning or before time, it was either Kemet or Mizraim. Okay? So Mizraim, when we look into the Bible, it tells you who created Egypt. Egypt was created by the sons of Mizraim. It descended. Yo, you talking about the descendants, the, the people in Egypt? In Egypt, they will when you say Egypt, create. Okay, or, okay. Yes. So the descendant of Egypt or the will Egyptians are of Mizraim, and Mizraim come from him. So if Mizraim come from him, according to the Bible, again, then there is no way Israel is. I mean, uh, Mizraim could have been created by the Japhetites or the Gentiles. That couldn't happen. So the invention basically started way in Mesopotamia, going into Egypt, and from Egypt to this world we're living right now. Let's okay. go back to computer time. Computer time, you have um, many people working in different things in computer, different people designing different things. So you have a, a man, a doctor, Mark Dean, who come into the picture where he was working for IBM. While working for IBM, they, want, they were working on a project to design- Is this a black man? That is a black man, Dr. Mark okay. Dean. So he came with the first one gigahertz chip that make it possible for you and I today to communicate. Because with that one gigahertz um, chip, they were able to create smaller device and be able to make device communicate among themselves, which give wow. you the computer, okay? What we call PC today. Now, if we go to cell phone, for example, you and I, cannot deny the fact that the entire world now communicate using cell phone. And many places you don't have people using home phone anymore, okay? So cell phone itself was created by Jesse Wozel, who, who uh, I would say there's a university in the United States that also talk about that they gave him, they all named him as the father of cell phone. Okay, you got about 45 seconds left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so now, um, other people, you have uh, Patricia Bach, a beautiful uh, sister, who created the, the, um, the, the, the laser pro, um, which is uh, something that used to remove cataract from people's eyes, okay? okay. And uh, many more. So basically, I'll just give a little sample of what uh, basically Black people have been created, which is in this world that we're living right now. But in the past, we have been created stuff. But the thing is, because those people, many of them were slaves to a white man. For example, you have- um, They didn't get credit for it. Okay, now, now <laughs> you gotta get you, 60 seconds. You gotta give people, how can they contact you? Email, website, and information about where they can get the book, 60 seconds. Well, to contact me, basically, you can go to um, my email, Adley, A-D-L-Y, Mondestin, M-O-N-D-E-S-T-I-N, 85, at gmail.com. My website is www.adlymondestin.com. And then, um, what was it? Yeah. Okay. Listen, that's a lot of information. And I know you're getting out a lot. Our audience is, is gathering this. And of course, we want you all to go and, and go to the website, check out the information. And if you want to get in touch with Adley, he gave you the information to do that. The book is there on Amazon. We know it's available there. And uh, I'll tell you, thank you, man. So much information, such a wealth of knowledge that, you know, you're just giving, giving, giving. And I'm sure that there's a lot more that you would like to share with our audience. want to thank you for being our guest today. All right. Thank you very Excellent much. Job. It was a pleasure. Thank All you. Right. Thank you so much. Listen, Dr. Larry Carnes, Books of the Month, don't go any place. We'll be right back. <laughs>